Hi, welcome everyone to our YouTube channel, EIU Greer Ganesh. In this video, we will see about Kerala Agriculture University PG and PhD admission for the year 2024. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel is the only channel to give agriculture education related videos and ICR counseling videos and other SIU videos in English. So you can share our channel with your friends also. Most of the viewers, those who are viewing this video may be new to our channel as this video is specifically focusing on Kerala Agriculture University PG and PhD admission. So you can watch our channel videos and you can subscribe our channel and you can share our channel with your friends also kerala agriculture university has released this notification for the year 2024 to 25 so this is this prospectus the link i will give in the description of this video but in this video we can see the important information so only those important information we can see in detail so there are the different postgraduate programs that is pg programs which will be offered by faculty of agriculture faculty of forestry and faculty of engineering and technology so these are the different faculties next constituent colleges offering postgraduate programs so here you can note down the faculty of agriculture so under faculty of agriculture the college of agriculture velayani which is located in tiruvananthapuram next is college of agriculture velayani kara which is located in trishur and the third is college of agriculture padanakkad which is located in kasargod Next is College of Cooperation, Banking and Management, Velyanikara, which is located in Trishur. This uh, all comes under Faculty of Agriculture and uh, Faculty of Forestry, College of Forestry, Velyanikara, Trishur and uh, Faculty of Agricultural Engineering and Technology. These are the different uh, colleges coming under different faculties for this PG admission. And uh, here you can note down this uh, different programs offered and uh, the number of the seats. So here for the master's program for the year 2024 to 25, MSc Agriculture, Horticulture, Community Science and uh, Agricultural Statistics. Here they have given this uh, different courses. So here you can see they have given the courses in different colleges. That means uh, how many seats are coming under KU entrance and how many seats are coming under ICR entrance in particular colleges and they have given this total also so you can note down so this is for MSc so here for agronomy for MSc there are 28 seats among these 28 seats 20 seats will be filled through KU entrance and 8 seats will be filled through ICR so here you can note down this and in addition to this they have given this split of different colleges also and in each college how many seats will be given to KAU entrance and how many seats will be given to ICR. So entrance means you no need to consider that they will conduct entrance here entrance examination will not be conducted. So the selection pattern is different that we will see it later. None of the universities will mention like this. So here Kerala Agriculture University is mentioning. So under Velayani campus, under KU seats, there are 13. Under ICR, there are 5. Similarly for Velayani Kara, 5, 2 and Padana card, 2, 1. So like this they have mentioned for all the subjects. So you can note down your particular subject. For example, if you are applying through microbiology, you can note down through microbiology how many seats in particular college, how many seats are filled through KU entrance and how many seats are filled through ICR. So in this application, you are applying only for this KU seats, not for this ICR seats. So these seats will be filled only through ICR entrance examination, which counseling will be held soon. Next is MSc Forestry State, College of Forestry, Velenikara. Here also they have given how many seats in different disciplines and the total number of the seats under, K under KU and ICR. Similarly for MSc Cooperation and Banking, which is located at Velenikara. Next is for MTech Agricultural Engineering. So similarly, here also it is given for PhD programs in Agriculture, Horticulture and PhD Community Science. So for uh, agronomy as agronomy is in first i am focusing on agronomy uh, you can note down for your subjects so totally there are 14 seats it under uh, ku entrance 10 seats will be filled and uh, four seats will be filled through icr we all know that 30 percentage of the seats of every sa uses filled through icr entrance that all may know among these uh, 10 seats of ku eight will be at the Velani, and the two will be at the kara under Patana card, there are no seats for PhD. So similarly, you can note down for different uh, courses. So you can note down for your particular course. Next is similarly for PhD forestry, which is look in Velyanikara. Next is uh, PhD in agricultural engineering. Next, this is important. So eligibility for admission, only Indian nationals are eligible to apply. You, you can note down here. Candidates should have obtained degrees from university institution accredited by ECR and recognized by KU. So this is very important. For example, you have studied BS agriculture in particular college. That particular college should have accreditation from ICR. So here they have mentioned that university or institution. So that means your particular college. If you are studying in any particular college under TNIU, and uh, your college is not having ICER accreditation, sure Kerala Agriculture University will not consider, you cannot claim that 
TNIU is having ICER accreditation. It's not like that. Your particular college or your institute should have ICER accreditation and it should be recognized by KU. That means they will not recognize now. Well, at the time of counseling, they will they have to consider your college. So that is what they are mentioning. So sure, your college should have got ICER accreditation. That is very important because earlier we were uploading many documents related to that, many proofs related to that. Next is eligibility criteria for ICER students will be as per icr norms but here also some twist is there that we will see at the time of icr counseling no need to tell it now next is for msc mtech programs next minimum ogp requirement so here for general category 6.5 and for scst pwd category 6 next for percentage if it is in percentage for general category it is a 55 percentage and if it is uh, for SAST PWD category it is 50 percentage next is for uh, faculty of agriculture if you want to apply for MSc agriculture or horticulture BSc hans degree in that respective disciplines for example if you want to apply for uh, MSc agronomy you should have got BSc agriculture so like that they are mentioning next is for community science and uh, similarly for uh, MSc Statistics and MSc Corporation and Banking. Next is Faculty of Forestry. So here you can note down that qualifications and all. Next is for PhD program. Similarly, in PG you should have got 7 OGPA in case of general and SAST PWD category 6.5. That means that this general is for other state also. Here other state students can also apply. So they will come under general category only. Eligibility they have given. PhD in agriculture, horticulture, forestry and agriculture engineering. Master's degree in that respective disciplines. Related disciplines in the faculty concerned. A yeah, basic degree in agri, horti or forestry is essential so what they are mentioning agri horti forestry and agricultural engineering is essential so you should have studied bsc agriculture um, or bsc related courses or ug courses from that uh, particular disciplines and msc in that relevant uh, disciplines next is four years basic degree ug and two years pg from a university or institution accredited by icer will be strictly followed so your ug college also should have got icer accreditation and your pg college should also have got icer accreditation if any of that colleges didn't had I ICER accreditation at the time of your studying so they will not consider should add ICER accreditation while you were studying the tune you have can note down if it is having ICER accreditation now they may not consider at the time of your studying at the time of your post out that college should have got ICER accreditation so you note down that one next is reservation of the seats and admission for sponsored candidates 30 percentage of the seats will be filled through ICER so that one you can take care next is number of students from outside Kerala is restricted to 10 percentage of the total PG PhD seats of KU in addition to ICER allotment. If sufficient students are not available from Kerala, students from outside Kerala will be admitted over about 10%. So here you may have clearly understood. For example, totally there are how many PG seats here just we can see. In agriculture, under totally under KU there are 91 seats. Here they have mentioned 10% outside Kerala students can join. So 10% means in that 91 percentage, 9.1% so that means 9 seats can be filled from outside Kerala similarly for MSC also so totally 194 seats are available so out of this 194 seats 10% age means maximum of only 19 seats can be filled to the students of outside Kerala but if a student from Kerala is not available they can give seat to other state students also so you can note down so from this you can get clear idea about that so totally from PhD out of that 91 seats only 9 students from other state will be given seat for MSC out of that 194 seats, 19 students from the other state will be given seat. Before applying for KU, please completely go through this prospectus. So the website is www.admissions.ku.in. Candidate should submit the application after registering in the website. Applications submitted later forced defective or incomplete in any manner which is an which do not contain any enclosures specified or liable to be rejected so you have to take care of that one next is the candidates are advised to read the instructions given in the website carefully before filling up the application hard copy of application of employed candidate should be routed through their head of the institutes so this is not for us so that means employed candidate means uh, there will be in-service candidate for example in K only under particular department and someone may be working they may not have completed PhD so they will apply for PhD as a in-service candidate so their application should be forwarded through their head of the institution that is what they are mentioning that is not for us so you no need to worry whether we need to submit hard copy or not next is application 
for master's degree program for a general category it is 1000 if you are applying from other state not a carolite then the fees is, then you will show everywhere you will come under general category only fees is for 1000 rupee next is sc st uh, native of kerala only and pwd that is 500 though you belong to sc st category of other state your seat will be allotted only in general category in kerala so you have to apply through general only if you are applying through SAST category sure your application will be rejected if you are from other state so you have to apply only through general category next is applications for PhD general category 1500 scheduled case 750 so here you have to note down this native of Kerala or non Keralaite that is very important next is payment of application fees that SB collect will be there most of the TNA students uh, may have done their payment of hostel fees everything through that uh, SB collect only so you can pay through that SB collect then one important thing is the application fee and additional fee once remitted will not be refunded in any circumstances so if they are rejecting your application also they will not refund your fees that is uh, very important and uh, you have to download that fee received and you have to upload that one or uh, you have to enter all those details that you can go through this and you can upload correctly next is application issues so each application should contain these documents that means online payment receipt of the fees that i mentioned previously next is scanned copies of certificates in proof of mark list of qualifying examination that means someone will think like uh, that uh, qualifying viva was examination it's not like that uh, that is uh, if you are applying for phd then you should have qualified that pg if you are applying for pg you should have qualified that ug so that's on that is provisional degree certificate or degree certificate with ogp that it should have been mentioned that next is uh, this provisional degree certificate we will call it as pdc next is valid ic scorecard for this particular year only that is 2024 to 2025 next a valid get scorecard in case of mtech programs that is uh, get is different some of you may know that one next is a community certificate in case of reservation if you are applying from other state you no need that one next is uh, certificates in proof of experience ports arts publication that we will tell later why they are asking this one next is detail of published papers such as original research paper books uh, textbooks authors and edited chapter in textbook review articles next is popular articles and uh, these are for uh, phd a no objection certificate and experience certificate from the controlling officer concerned that is for in-service candidates only not for others next is uh, selection how this will be selected so this is one of the important uh, criteria so you have to clearly go through this one first uh, masters so selection of candidates for master program will be based on ICR entrance examination conducted so already you should have attended ICR entrance examination next is the candidate should attend the entrance examination in relevant subject group as prescribed by ICR to be eligible for the admission for example if you are applying here for one subject plant pathology you consider plant pathology so you should have applied or you should have attended your examination of icr only in that plant science so that uh, different streams will come uh, under plant science uh, such as plant pathology breeding so like that some four or five subjects will come so only you can apply for those subjects in ku also so that is what they have mentioned should attend the entrance examination in relevant subject as prescribed by icr2 eligible for admission ku will conduct separate entrance examination for community science and cooperative and banking courses that one you note down next is candidate with valid gate score also will be considered for admission to mtech programs agriculture engineering for mtech program and gate score in agriculture engineering will be considered for admission to all mtech disciplines so you can note down this one next is gate score in food technology will be considered for admission to mtech processing and food engineering and icr scorecard of relevant year of admission in the major subjects as prescribed by icr for admission through aea under the corresponding faculty of KU is mandatory for considering of administration that is what we have mentioned already that's they are repeating here next how you will be selected how the rank will be released so the marks obtained in KU are ICER entrance examination for example in ICER entrance examination you may have attended exams for 480 marks okay 120 questions 480 marks you can consider that you got 200 marks okay so this 200 marks will be converted for 75 for example this 480 marks will be converted to 75 marks and then for 200 if you have scored a 200 mark how it will be calculated so you can consider that 480 is equal to 75 okay 480 marks is con considered as 75 mark then your 200 mark is equal to x what x as like fertilizer calculation x is equal to 75 into 200 divided by 480 so that will be your score for 
this 75 marks i hope everyone would have understood this one next is academic performance marks are great obtained in degree program this they will consider only for 20 marks and remaining 5 marks will be for publication sports and arts if you have did any got any sports award or any arts or cultural awards and publication awards so for that they will give 5 marks totally 100 marks next is criteria followed for the distribution of marks to publication and sports for example if you have published any popular article or abstract or poster 0.25 marks and full paper in symposium or research or research note 0.5 mark and research paper in reference journals or books or book chapter 1 mark so this many marks you will get next in case of sports and arts and games if you are played representing a nation you got you will get 5 marks if you are representing state 3 marks representing the university 1 mark so this is how that 5 mark will be given next to for phd we will clearly see here the candidates will be ranked on the basis of the following criteria for this this sr of score will be considered jr of sr of jr of means uh, it is not for pg it is for phd again i am telling jr of is not for pg candidates will be ranked on the basis of following criteria marks obtained in the ke or icr entrance examination 75 mark as i told uh, that uh, with the example of that fertilizer calculation similarly it will be calculated for 75 marks and academic performance uh, that is a marker grade obtained in the pg degree examination your ogpa that will be converted into 15 publication so for this publication 10 marks reservation rules of government of kerala will be applicable for admission to all pg and phd programs that one you can take care similarly for this publication like this only they will give marks for phd also and next rejection of application if in if you have given any wrong information or anything is missing your application will be rejected next is entrance examination entrance examination will be only for this msc community science and phd community science and that corporations so for those courses only next general procedures and important instructions on mode of admission so here they have given so it will be in through online mode only it is mandatory that student should upload certificates providing their basic qualifications for admission to program before the last date of submission of online application so you have you take care before that time you should uh, submit this one next you can go through other things next you need to do this choice filling so as like i said counseling only for ku also you need to fill the choice they will publish the rank card and based on that provisional rank card finally you have to fill the choice and uh, your campus will be allotted as like icr counseling only and uh, you can go through all these things next is uh, announcement of the result that the list will be published uh, next admission you can go through next original documents to be produced at the time of admission so here you can go through just uh, these are uh, just uh, things only and the important thing is uh, fees fees will be very very less at uh, kerala agriculture university that is one of the important thing so here before that we will discuss this uh, tentative schedule for pg and phd admissions this notification was given yesterday and the commencement of this online application has already started last date for uh, online submission is next month 5th okay remaining everything will be later notified in this website only you can go through that uh, website here they have given this uh, simple process that is quick reference first you have to do fill up the online application payment next to final submission next to verification scrutiny by this university and publishing provisional rank list first choice filling publishing first to provisional allotment list chance for confirmation and upgradation you can go for upgradation also in this next to publishing for final announcement list a notice for physical reporting document verification next to distribution of um, provisional admit card to this eligible candidates reporting at admitted college or um, submit required documents spot admission if needed next to closure of admission so these are the different process that will be considered in kerala agriculture university admission next day here they have given this category wise split up of those seats that we have already seen for total number of the seats in different campuses just you can go through here uh, next uh, at last uh, important thing is um, fees uh, fees will be very less in kerala agriculture university as compared to other south indian universities in south indian university only kerala agriculture university is having less fees so here for msc mtech programs uh, the total fees is uh, only 17845 and for phd programs it is 18780 the tuition fees semester fees and the special fee shall vary from second semester onwards in accordance with the decision of the university a special caution deposit 3000 will be collected from outside state candidates admitted so contact details for any inquiries so you can contact them in the working days only for any inquiries i hope this video will be very useful to you for uh, application to kerala agriculture university if you are new to our channel you can subscribe our channel and share our channel with your friends also thank you